Short interest in the stock market rose to the highest level since April 2022 as these investors bet that the stock market run is set to falter. As of last Friday, short sellers have placed bets of about $1.02 trillion that the U.S. stocks will fall. This bearish sentiment results from skepticism on how much higher stocks can go with the recent rally. And with the odds of a recession in the next 12 months at 25%, the short sellers could be correct. However, if bullish investors went out, the short positions could eventually turn to support the market with a squeeze. On the bullish side, Fundstrat's Tom Lee says investors should be buying stocks, effectively buying the dip created in the past few days. Lee highlighted that the economy still looks poised for growth despite fears of a potential recession. Lee also pointed to the $5.5 trillion sitting on the sidelines. This is a staggering amount of money and shows how the public remains deeply skeptical. But if that skepticism wanes, that money could be put to use in the stock market. So what is an investor to do? Look at the charts, of course. And we go back to our two-year weekly chart on the spiders, the SPY, and the close on Friday, as you can see, 433.21. Now, what I've done is use the chart program and put up these channel lines, as you can see. Certainly, they're not as good as my hand-drawn channel lines, of course. Now, you can see that the bottom channel line moving through here, and we're well off of that, above the midpoint, and looks like we may have gotten to the top and perhaps reflected back. Don't really know. It's a little bit early to tell. But for the most part, we have exceeded that level there. And we exceeded that level there, which is what we wanted to see. Now, the next move we would want is to break up out through that top channel line. But I'm not so sure we're going to get that. Time will tell, but I think the probability is that we're going to reflect back on down. So let's take a look at the oscillators. Moving down here, volume looks fine. And into the MAC, the MAC looks fine too with both the slow line and the fast line here in black well above the zero line. And it looks like it had a little bit of acceleration, but uh, this week perhaps a bit of a pullback. So again, perhaps the early stages of a rounding and a move back down. So that'll show up in next week and perhaps the week after. We'll just have to wait and see. Here in the histogram, we can definitely see that things did kick up, but then this week they started to uh, taper off. So once again, not really all that telling because it's just too early. Here in the price rate of change, definitely a nice move on up. Looks like it's accelerating. So it could continue. But again, I think we have these oscillators showing differences. So I'm not too convinced one way or the other. I actually think that within the near to midterm, this little market move is going to roll over. And we see that here in the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, at a moderate 68.73, but it's got a fish hook here moving on down. It came up to that uh, 80 level and then bounced back down, reflected out of that uh, potential overbought territory. Same thing here in stochastics. We did get into that overbought territory, but we see the fast line moving through. So that's a sign of caution, if nothing else. Moving here into the Williams, same things. Williams has been moving down for uh, a couple of weeks, heading on down here. So these are showing flashing yellow signals, so be cautious. Move back up here to the main price chart. And as you can see, I think the probability is that we head down. I don't think this is a time to buy. I think it's a time to be patient. And speaking of patience, let's go to this next chart. And just a quick look here at this chart, which is the 20-year monthly chart on the iShares Russell 2000 ETF. And the symbol is IWM. And the close on Friday was 180.57. Some of you have talked about 
perhaps missing the rally. Well, we haven't missed the rally in every indice or every stock. And this here is going to show you. We do have some bottoming and basing, and definitely we've come off of the bottom here, but not too far. And the proof be told in the MAC. You can see that the MAC fast line and slow line are under zero. We do have a bottoming process that is moving through its evolution, but it hasn't given the trigger, at least my trigger, which is the fast line moving through the slow line. And we're still below zero. So things are improving, but perhaps not quite time to buy. But soon enough, it will be. So you have plenty of time to look at these oscillators and this indice, again, which is a Russell 2000 ETF, but there's plenty of stocks out there that look the same, that are bottoming and basing and about ready to make their move, but they haven't moved yet. Look, the Williams is telegraphing you that things are moving on up. So it perhaps isn't quite time yet, but time is coming and you have time to study the fundamentals and be prepared. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.